Hey, good morning. This is day three, sort of, uh, Tuesday. And, uh, with my hair. I know it's, it's not a good, <laughs> anyway, uh, we're starting our day off, right? I got pulled over <laughs> first time in a long time for not coming to a complete stop at a stop sign on a really slow back alley road. But the police officer was very nice. He let us go. He didn't give us a ticket or anything like that. So that's how our day started. Yeah. But, so. um, <laughs> Uh, on our way to go across the street to, to breakfast. Yes, yes. Which we're now at Doc's Diner. We're going to have some breakfast and then um, we're going to go reschedule some of our dives around. But the weather is looking better. Uh, the wind is dying down. And so we're going to go probably to John Penny Camp because Bahia Honda is closed today. Yep. But we're going to go to Penny Camp. We're going to snorkel and uh, we're going to try and go to Robbie's and feed the things driving. and stuff. So, see some pelicans, yes, yeah. So, that's our day. We'll see how much of that we accomplished today. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the phone. I feel like I'm shaking the phone. You are kind of shaking the phone. Okay. Are you shaky? No, are it's you just, nervous? No, I'm not actually. <laughs> All right, see ya. Okay, we uh, we did a little snorkeling this morning, and uh, you'll see that. You'll see that footage right now. Splash! Here we are in John Penny Camp Park at Cannon Beach. That was a little plaque commemorating the uh, replica wreck that we're on here, the Spanish galleon. And then, oh, did you see him? He had a bite out of him there. Yeah, he kept swimming right in front of me. I kept trying to uh, follow him around with my camera, too, because his bite was exciting. And these guys are blue runners. Most of them. Now, that one's not, though. No, that that's one. a bar Jack. So, yeah. So, he's at the bar. His name's Jack. But uh, but these guys were around all the time. They even followed you for a bit. They like, did. They followed me a lot. So, Kinda, that's... Yeah. <laughs> that, that's pretty cool, though. You, you come here, you see a lot of fish, and a lot of these fish are real curious. You look like you're having fun. <laughs> I am. And there's more blue runners. And so, you know, you, you get to see a lot. People say there's no snorkeling from the shore in Florida. Wrong. There is. May not be as great as a reef, but you can see cool stuff. Like, if you look closely amongst these grunts and, uh, j and snappers, there is a hogfish right there, which I'm following now. It's a little hogfish. Little hoglet fish. Did you see that grunt open? Um, yeah, that grunt open his mouth a little bit. I didn't see that. Okay, no, yeah. I saw the sergeant major swim by. Ah, okay. So I followed this guy a, a little ways. Now, one of the interesting things about hanging out in this spot is you've got all these cannons, which attracts a lot of fish, and uh, but a lot of them are juvenile or or younger fish. There, there's a hogfish hiding under that cannon there. But you get a lot of neat fish. Like, there's a juvenile. That's a pork fish. So hogs, pork. It's just a little piggy around here. <laughs> and there was another sergeant major going off to the left. But yeah, so um, so you will see a lot of neat stuff. And it's here's, here's mostly what you see, though. Lots of blue-striped grunts. That's what most of these are. There are some mangrove snapper, also called gray snapper, quite a few of those as well, which you've probably seen in this video. Or if you watched the one before it, I'm sure you saw them in there. And just look out into the endless waters. You can just see, you know, grunts for days. Grunts everywhere. Now, this is the buoy that is attached to where the cannons and stuff are. And what is on this? That is an itty bitty baby Sergeant Major. Yes. These were like the size of a pea. Yes, they were awesome. You popped your head up out of the water and said, come here, I'm going to show you the cutest thing you're going to see on this snorkel. And you were right. What I just showed you myself? Well, okay. The second cutest thing <laughs> on the snorkel. Now, these guys were adorable. And I don't think the scales really represented because these guys are tiny. They were really hard to get video of. You can yeah, see, I'm excited. You, you can see, too, the way that was rock and it's still pretty wavy now there is like a deep area you can go down about 15 20 feet and that's where i found this guy here a spiny lobster and you think well that's neat you saw a spiny lobster oh no i saw another spiny lobster two two spiny no wait there's three spiny lo actually that might be the same spiny lobster there's wait nope there's another one there 
And if that wasn't enough, we have we have more spiny lobsters for you. All the spiny lobsters. Well, you don't can give ever it want. away. Well, I mean, I'm just kidding. Look, look at the spiny lobster family. Look at them. One, two, three, four. Uh, 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 four spiny lobsters. Pretty cute. Here's another time I went down to look at them. If you look closely, you may see a fish laying on the ground too, which I didn't notice while I was actually there. But it's there now. It'll swim off in a little bit. But these guys, they like these spiny lobsters. They like to hang out in these little uh, kind of crevices and stuff. And then they have spiky antenna. So if you get too close, they will smack you with them. With their spiny antenna? Yeah. That's how they protect themselves. Because they're spiny lobster? Yes. Yes. But apparently they're delicious if you go for the crustacean meal. They're apparently pretty tasty. It is. It was lobster season, although you're not allowed to take them from here. And this, this little guy, I don't know if you saw that. He's going to spit more dirt at me in a second here, I think. This is what, it, yeah, there we go. This is what it looked like on the bottom. There was a lot of, of uh, just debris and stuff. It was easy to kick it up, but I caught him when he came out a little bit. This is Harry the Blenny. Or also called a Harry Blenny. I just prefer to call him Harry the Blenny. <laughs> now they're in the upper part of this deep kind of channel um, you can find neat things too like what's that that's a tarpon we saw these guys popping their dorsal fins up out of the water and we were like whoa they're really large fish swimming around us and we didn't know if we'd be able to see them because the visibility as you can see was not awesome it was okay but uh, we did we caught a little bit and then a little bitty thing yes it's an upside down jelly now he's kind of a sideways there he's upside well, down well but that's what he's called, right? Yeah. Yeah. These are little upside down jellyfish and uh, they they can technically sting a little bit, but it's extraordinarily mild. Mostly they get their energy from an algae that lives on them and they get the energy from the photosynthesis as that algae gets that process going with the sun. So as they get bigger, because they get bigger, they get, you know, I don't know, what would I compare them to? Maybe six, seven inches of in diameter or something like that and uh, and they, they tend to be more on the bottom which I thought we'd see some adults but we didn't but we saw several babies and there's our uh, there's our going away fish barracuda yeah as you can see this is a shallow area we're getting more algaes and there's a little bit of seagrass over here this is right before we got out and we went to have lunch and you'll enjoy that little tidbit right now Where did we eat at? What was that place called? Fernandez the Bull. And it was a Cuban place. It was pretty good. They gave us a ton of fries. Yeah, too many fries. And um, they had several different styles of Cuban sandwich. And now we're going to Kama? What? We got to get some some different band-aids and uh, Trimmer's got to get some shoes, which is related to her getting the band-aids. So uh, there's still Kmart's? How many times have they gone on a bit? I don't know. Well, I don't apparently know. they're still at Kmart. That's what we're doing. We won't make you go shopping with us. Okay, back from lunch, back from Kmart. Here's another barracuda. This is a baby barracuda. Oh, I thought it was just really weird scale. No. no. This guy was what? How big do you think he was? Oh, I'd say he was, I don't know, six inches? Okay. Maybe? He was right. a little guy. Yeah, a little bitty thing. We saw a few of these little baby barracuda. The one that you saw in the snorkel before lunch was a juvenile, was a younger animal. It wasn't a juvenile juvenile. It was a younger animal. There's a mohara swimming by, but probably that one was probably about two feet, two and a half feet. Yeah. And then here's a slightly larger barracuda. This one was probably what? Three feet, you think? Yeah, I'd say probably about three feet. Yeah, something like that. Maybe two, between two and three feet. And uh, I was having trouble with my camera, but fortunately we have two cameras, so you were not having those challenges. And look at him, he's just hanging out. He's just curious. Yeah, he was He was like, hey, film me. I'm a barracuda. <laughs> I, love, I love the look on barracuda's faces. I feel like they have so much personality. And teeth. Yeah. They actually, people are afraid of barracuda, and you really don't need to be. I mean, unless you are messing with them, they're not going to bother you, but they will come over and take a look. There's another little upside down jellyfish. Yeah, this one was really cool. He hung up with me for quite a bit and even let me sort of hold him. I mean, they don't have a brain. Well, yeah. So they just kind of, you know, 
swim around and do their thing. So I don't know if he knew you were holding Well, probably him, but, not, no. Or she. They're it, or both. Yeah. It didn't let me... Yeah, anyways. It was it was cool. It The water, obviously, it was so little and feels like almost nothing. And, of course, every time the water whooshed around, it whooshed around, too. <laughs> Pretty adorable, though. Yeah, it's really cool to see the little ones up close like that. That was, that was right on the edge of that drop-off. Now, yeah. what's going on here? This is a cormorant, and I popped up out of the water, and he was just sitting there on the top of the little buoy. I guess he probably just came out of the water, so he was sitting there to dry his wings. And I was able to swim right up close to him. I thought he was going to fly away, but he let me kind of circle all around him. He didn't care. He didn't care. Yeah, these guys don't have that oily coating on their feathers that allows them to dive underwater, but the trade-off is... They have to dry their wings out or they can't fly very well, which you'll kind of experience here when he does decide to leave. Yeah, it's it's really cool. He's starting to open his wings and then I think he he caught a glimpse of me and he was like, I don't like you there. I don't know, maybe just maybe it's just time to go. Maybe, you're but right. You see he's flying kinda of low there. He had to, you know, get a little water out before he could go. And now oh, now this we saw a few of these here, and you were following this one. This is a parrotfish which we decided is the initial phase of the rainbow parrotfish. Yeah. It was not an easy fish to key out, by the way, but uh, we're about, I don't know, probably 95% sure that's what this is. We saw several of them. And uh, we're going to cut in some audio here in a minute because you can hear them eating, and it's really cool. Listen to this. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Right? He's like chomping away. So parrotfish eat algae and sometimes corals that grow. And, and they're important because they eat the algae and clear space for new corals to uh, to form. So, so that's it. That's our second snorkel, our last snorkel at this park on this trip. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll get back to the regular vlog right now. All right, Kimber, where are we? We are at Robbie's. But there's no tarpon here. No tarpon. Water's too choppy, she said, and uh... She threw in some fish and said hopefully some sharks will come up. <laughs> That'd be cool. That would be cool. I mean, I'd take that. Yeah. So we're at Robbie's. We finished snorkeling at Penny Camp. We went in the morning. We had lunch, which you probably said something about. Then we snorkeled again. And now we're here. See lunch and... Well, we were here to feed tarpon, but... Yeah. I guess that's not going to happen, so... There's some egrets. He has no egrets. That egret is great. Uh, how about that one over there? Oh, snowy egret and yeah. a great egret. He looks a little short for a great egret, doesn't he? Oh. Okay. I guess not, he was just, he was just lying low. Yeah. I can see the Robbie sign behind you. There's a Robbie sign behind you? Yeah. yeah. It's a giant tarpon. What did you, um, what'd you get to eat? I got a blackened chicken sandwich. Yeah, it's called the stilts something. Bill? What? That what Stiltsville, yeah. Stiltsville? And that's what I got. It looks like you have a thing that says your name is Robbie. It's like a name tag, like a personal name tag. This? No, oh, not that. Oh, it's like that. Yeah, it says my name is Robbie. Your head, yeah. That's that's me, Robbie the Tarpon. <laughs> so we're here at Robbie's, but the Tarpon aren't here. It's a nice place though. Nice view. Yeah, this is the view. We got water over here. It's a nice cool breeze and yeah. Yeah. It's nice. It feels really good out here. It does. Yes. And there's dollar bills all over the place, so. Yes. 
How many of them do you think have like blown into the <laughs> water? I bet there are some rich sharks in there. <laughs> Look at that snowy egrets catching flies. The greedy still egrets, catching flies. They're confused by them catching flies. <laughs> <laughs> they're really funny. All right, that's all I got. That's all I got too. Okay. What did you get? I got Nutella custard with cookie dough and brownie. And I got amaretto with maraschino cherries and almonds. Let's see what you think. Your first nitrogen ice cream will be mine too. It's a weird looking consistency. It's really cold ice cream. Is it? It's really cold ice cream? Mm -hmm. All right, here. Also, I think that bite was mostly cookie dough. <laughs> what do you think? It's good. Really cold ice cream? Yes. All right, I'm gonna stop this so I can eat mine too. <laughs> Look at us getting off the elevator. How exciting yeah. is that? So. Uh, we ate the nitrogen ice cream. It's gonna get really windy. So maybe we shouldn't talk as we go. I can't. What's going on? I don't, know, I don't know what's happening right now. We can't both fit through that aisle. We ate the nitrogen ice cream and it was delicious for a second. And then we kind of had second thoughts. But I'll tell you that after I get the key out to our room here and get in, just bear with us here. It's the end of the night. Uh, we didn't have anything to drink, though. That's no, not was, the right card. I thought it was. Do you have the card? Hang on, I'll edit this out. Okay, the magic of editing. We are now entering the <laughs> hotel room. Oh, it's cold in here. It feels good in here. Uh, so yeah, the nitrogen ice cream. Um, the amaretto was good, and then after like a couple bites, it tasted really kind of chemically. And the ice cream's very cold, like it hurts the roof of our mouths and it mm -hmm. was kind of icy tasting. I, I'm not giving up on it though. I think if I made better flavor choices, I would enjoy it uh, more. I mean, it was all right, but I didn't even finish it. And if you guys know me, if I don't finish ice cream, something wrong. Yeah, I was a little bit surprised. Something's wrong. I didn't finish mine either, but that's because I don't ever finish ice cream. Anyway, um, but it was good. She had Nutella, the Nutella. Yeah, I tried hers. I liked hers more than mine. So, uh, so we started the day by me getting pulled over for not coming to a complete stop on a really back road stop sign, and uh, not getting a ticket. And then we went snorkeling, and then we had lunch and good Cuban food. That was the same thing, by the way. And then we went snorkeling again, and uh, didn't see as much as we saw yesterday. But it was still fun. We saw different things. We saw a lot of those little cute little um, jellies, upside down jellies. Oh yeah, we saw pork fish today. Right, which they probably know because they, they've watched the video to this point. Yeah. They've seen all that. But anyway, uh, now we are going to get our dive stuff together because hopefully tomorrow morning we will get to do our first scuba dive. Woohoo! The winds hopefully have died down enough. Oh yeah, we, I, we went to Robbie's, no tarpon. We're going to, tomorrow after we dive, we're going to probably go to Bahia Honda and hit a couple places and we may try Robbie's again after that. So we'll see. We shall indeed. Good night, everybody. Aww. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you are notified when new videos come out on Fantastic Studios.